I've been trying to fulfill my lifelong dream of growing my own gemstone. My first four attempts didn't go so great, but this time I had a bit of success. I found a paper from 1989 where the researchers grew crystals of manganese silicate, or as I would call it, rhodonite. Natural rhodonite is best known as an opaque stone, but it can very rarely form transparent crystals which make absolutely gorgeous gemstones. And the researchers grew crystals up to seven millimeters in length, just big enough to facet. We just need to cook manganese and silicon oxide together in a manganese chloride flux, which helps them melt. First I had to bake the chloride to remove water and then grind it to powder in my agate mortar and pestle. Then I packed it as tightly as possible into a graphite crucible, mixed the oxides and put them on top. The graphite crucible goes into a larger ceramic crucible and gets packed around with alumina. I contaminated my last kiln with deadly potassium chromate, but it gave me a chance to get this new programmable kiln. And with this program, we heat our mix to 1040 Celsius to melt everything together, then drop it down to 920 after a few hours and hold it there for 15 hours to slowly crystallize. And now that it's cooled, let's see what we've got. Whoa, look at this. The paper said we might get some crystals of manganese oxide on the lid, but this is huge and beautiful. I oh no. I did manage to find one shard of the crystal and look how cool it is under the microscope. But that's just an appetizer. Let's open the crucible and Wait, where's the flux? I guess it all evaporated out. But look at this. They're tiny, but I think they're rhodonite. I scraped some crystals off and put them in my Raman spectrometer, and yep, we've got rhodonite for sure. So I finally made a crystal I was actually trying to make. They aren't nearly big enough to be gems, but it still feels like a huge milestone. And now to start tweaking the parameters. Thanks for joining me on my gem growing adventure, and stay tuned for the next experiment.